FAU! FAU! Well, excitement continues to build for Florida Atlantic University fans after a big night for the Owls ends with a victory. The FAU basketball team is still dancing in the NCAA tournament after upsetting Memphis by one point last night in Columbus, Ohio. That's where our sports director Shane Wright is live with more on the Owls' first ever NCAA tournament win. Shane, it was a dramatic, super dramatic ending for FAU. Yeah, and uh, sitting courtside, it was amazing to watch it. It was a back and forth game. FAU jumped out on top. Memphis came back and that and finished. You can't you can't script anything better than that, for, especially for a school like FAU coming from broke. With the support that this team has had throughout this season has been incredible. And joining me now is the athletics director Brian White, and um, you must have. You must have really been relishing in the moment to see what Nick Boy did at the buzzer. What were the emotions like for you just seeing that happen? It was incredible. I've never hugged so many people in my life. I mean, I was hugging people I didn't know. It was just incredible. Such an exciting experience. What do you think you've um, have taken most of the school has taken most from the attention that you've gotten? You've, the exposure has been incredible all season, and now it's ramped up even more because you're on a national stage. You know, it's great for the university, and that's really why we have Division One sports to be the uh, to be the front porch for the university. So really proud to represent a great university um, and and I think this this run that this special team has had and a great group of student athletes and coaches has has just been phenomenal and the story is not over yet we got a big game coming up tomorrow going back to last night uh, that is a it was an incredible game here's a look back and how it all folded and how FU came out with that one point win It's a finish fit for a movie script. I told Coach in the time I said, Coach, I got it. Uh, you know what I mean? I, just, I don't know why I was feeling that way, but I just said, Coach, let me get the ball. And that confidence led to this conviction, this layup with two seconds left, giving FAU, after 35 years, its first ever NCAA tournament win. Oh, it's a blessing, you know, when you go to, when you go to a war with your, with your brothers. Which, which are real brothers, it's, it's a blessing. From the conference tournament to now, it just prepared us for all these games, just playing long athletic teams. And um, man, just being out there with my brothers, like John Carlos said, uh, it's fun. The FAU faithful. Who's been behind this team the entire season, taking paradise on the road to Ohio, the team feeling right at home. Those of you that were here in year one, we have more fans. We've quadrupled the number of fans we had in our own gym here in Ohio for an NCAA tournament game. And these guys have grown a fan base because of the way they are as people. The Owls now moving on to the round of 32. The movie script ripe for another climax, another crescendo. We've proved that we're supposed to be here. We're not doing nothing we're not supposed to do. So we're just going to keep respecting opponents and we're going to keep getting it done the humble way. And here in uh, downtown Columbus, uh, some of the alumni and some of the fans just taking a day off, enjoying the day while FAU gets ready for that game tomorrow. Gets Fairleigh Dickinson, who had their own upset over number one seeded Purdue. So FAU taking on Fairleigh Dickinson tomorrow, 7.30, see if they can make it to the Sweet 16, breaking records all over the place for the first time in school history. We'll see if the Owls can pull it up. For now, we're live in downtown Columbus. Shane Wright, WPBF 25 Sports.